Is your skin super dull and dry and has no life at the end of the day? Are you having a lot of trouble using 10,000 skincare products and seeing absolutely no difference in your skin whatsoever? Are you super super confused and overwhelmed seeing all of the chemical exfoliation products on the internet? And do you want to know how to select the best acids which are suited for your skin type? Then you've clicked on the right video. Keep on watching. Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am doing a full-blown chemical exfoliation 101 with y'all. I have seen the whole chemical exfoliation hype get 10 folds in this entire quarantine situation. I realized that there are a lot of skincare companies just trying to get on board and like mass produce products with lot of acids in it and as a consumer I feel overwhelmed with the amount of products that there are to choose from right now in the chemical exfoliation game I mean as a single person I can't possibly try everything for you guys I know you all want me to review stuff and I definitely will in due course of time but chemical exfoliation has a time has an age has a particular way you're supposed to use it and I am just 21 and I should be using it in a certain amount and in a certain quantity and at a certain time so if you want to know how you're supposed to use chemical exfoliation for your skin type how you're supposed to select the acids that you particularly need and at what age you should expose yourself to what amount of concentration of acids and everything to be able to get like glowing and lit from within skin this is by the way my skin without any makeup on right now then you will get all of that in today's video but if this is the first time you've clicked on any one of my videos and this is the first time you've seen my face on the internet then hi I make honest inclusive beauty content here on youtube as well as on instagram so if you're not subscribed to my channel already please make sure that you hit the red subscribe button down below and join the sarah squad we have a real chill fun time over here discussing all sorts of skincare honest beauty reviews doing simple makeup looks and hauls and whatnot so you're gonna have a great time here and also make sure that you're hitting the bell icon right next to it because youtube does this thing that it doesn't really notify every single person who subscribed you only get notified if you're clicking on that bell icon so make sure that you hit that bell icon as well also if you want to get to know me a little better you want to follow me on my personal life journey and you want like a little bit more of a behind the scenes sort of situation then you can follow me on my Instagram as well my Instagram handle is Sarah Sarosh with an extra H after Sarosh and with that we can dive into today's video all right so what is chemical exfoliation the first thing the first question that must be bothering you seeing this name all over the place so at the end of the day it is just a type of exfoliation all right do you remember using scrubs and all of these beads in your face washes back when you were you know little and back when times in skincare was simple you had all these beads in your face washes and you used to do this and then you used to have like glowing skin that is exactly what chemical exfoliation is but the difference is the physical exfoliators work more on a superficial level whereas chemical exfoliators have potent acids in them so they work more on a deeper level now on a very general note what exactly chemical exfoliators do is be able to remove all of the layer of dead skin that you have built up on your face so because we expose our skin so much to like pollution to like sun damage sun exposure and also as we age the skin regeneration power becomes slower with time you know so yes your skin has the power to regenerate itself yes your skin does uh, take away all the dead skin and give you like fresh skin every one month or something but the process slows down the more you expose yourself to pollution and sun damage and stuff and you can't really you know sit in the house at all times so that is the reason why all of these skincare products come in the picture which will help you accelerate the process of getting rid of those dead skin and having that you know rejuvenated skin from inside now if you're asking me why do I have to get rid of the dead skin from my face the simple answer is that if you have a layer of dead skin on your face no matter what you're going to apply on top of it you can apply the most expensive serum in the market the most expensive moisturizer no matter what mask you use you're still going to end up with like the same dull dry and your entire skin is not really going to be able to absorb the product that you're applying on top of your dead skin basically your dead skin has just piled up so you need to be able to remove that and then you know apply your serum moisturizer so your skin actually gets the product that you're applying on it and then you will start seeing the results now in general as a broad classification chemical exfoliators are acids you can divide them into three basic categories you must have heard these names before there are AHAs that are alpha hydroxy acids there are BHAs that are beta hydroxy acids and there are also PHAs which is polyhydroxy acids the more often terms you see on skincare products is AHAs and BHAs people don't really talk much about PHAs but I will get into that 
in just a minute. Now talking about AHAs first, these are alpha hydroxy acids. So they are water soluble, they dissolve in water and they work on a very superficial level of your skin. The names you must have heard in the market for alpha hydroxy acids are glycolic acid, malic acid, citric acid and lactic acid. If you've heard any of these products, if you see your ingredient list at the back of your skincare products and spot any of these names, that means your skincare already has an AHA present in it. You must not know in how much percentage it's present because India doesn't surely have a rule as such that you should be disclosing your skincare percentages in products. In, in fact, internationally as well, not every single skincare product does have the ingredient percentage mentioned. But in general, if you look at an ingredient list, the from top to bottom, the more higher the ingredient is on the list, the higher the percentage of it in the product. Just a general rule. Not every skincare company follows it, but I'm just letting you know that you can look at an ingredient list in that form. So when AHA basically works on the surface level, it is going to help you get rid more of your textured skin, more of those tiny bumpies that you get on your skin. Works just on the superficial level, doesn't really go deep down in your skin and do anything. If you want that deep pore cleansing effect, then that is where your BHA comes into play. So your beta hydroxy acids are the ones which are oil soluble. So they actually penetrate deep into your skin and like, you know, clean out your pores and everything. So if you're having like trouble with a lot of blackheads, whiteheads, you have like really sebum collection, like a lot of sebum collection which is causing a lot of acne and fungal acne and all those issues beta hydroxy acids is where your cure lies the most common beta hydroxy acid that is prescribed for acne prone skin is salicylic acid when i had a face full of cystic acne salicylic acid was my life savior it can be overly drying if used in like higher percentages but it is very very helpful in helping with fungal acne with cystic acne with basically acne prone skin salicylic acid is your best friend so now coming on to phas phas are poly hydroxy acids. So these molecules are larger and they also work on a superficial level. They work very similarly to AHAs but they are less irritating than AHA to your skin. So possibly if like an AHA is causing a lot of skin irritation to you, a PHA would work better with your sensitive or reactive skin type. So now that you've familiarized yourself with which acid is what, let's dive into the topic of how you're supposed to use them and how you're supposed to start into the whole chemical exfoliation game on, right? So now in general if you see like the strong as chemical exfoliation products usually have AHA and DHA mixed in them. Now, do you really need both ingredients mixed? Can you use both type of acids together? Definitely you can. But do you need to? Not really. If you're just starting into the chemical exfoliation game, which I highly recommend that you do because it does help your skin drastically. It does. It's like a game changer. Honestly, now that the entire market is picking up for chemical exfoliation, there are certain companies that are just making it for the heck of it. But there are certain companies that are doing a fab job when it comes to the whole chemical exfoliation game and now that products are so easily available to you I do recommend that you do buy them do a patch test before you use them because if you just directly put it on your face and if anything goes wrong it can be very like you know it will mess up your skin barrier once your skin barrier is messed up you will have to go to a dermat and you know undo the entire the process will be like long and tedious so it's always better to start in smaller concentrations if you directly want to jump into the ordinary AHA BHA dude that is strong stuff. At the end of this video, I'm going to be giving you all product recommendations with different types of concentrations of acids and how you're supposed to use them and everything. But in general, do not get into the whole hype of the ordinary AHA VHA and start your chemical exfoliation game directly with that. It's not going to be the best for your skin barrier. Start small, start with smaller percentages and start with milder AHAs. You know, just start with lactic acids. We've all been using the E on our skin for like since forever so your skin possibly is already used to a lactic acid so start with ingredients that have milder concentrations milder acids and then build up from them now there are some people who just you know you can they can use peers on their face all their life and they will still be having good skin glowing skin and some people just need that extra care so if you're coming under those category of people who just need that extra care or you just like taking care of your skin in general then you should go about with all of this so basically what the bottom line of all of this is that chemical exfoliation is great. It will give you glowing skin and you should start in low concentrations. Keep it simple and then if your skin agrees to it and if your skin is happy, keep on increasing the strength and the frequency of the products. Now as I dive into the products that I'm going to be mentioning, I will tell you all how I use them and with what frequency uh, I use them, like how many times a week or a month and all of that. But before I get into that, I also want to address the fact about teenagers and my early 20 kids and my 
babies. If you all are getting hyped up with the whole skincare that is happening around you and you're getting overwhelmed that maybe I should use this or use this because your minds are right now in that phase, you know, that ye bhi chahiye, ye bhi chahiye, ye bhi chahiye. Ye sab aapko nahi chahiye. Aapki skin is doing just fine, okay? Y'all are like, you know, if y'all are like early teens, like y'all are 13, 14, 15 or like even up to 18, chill it. Just use your Himalaya Neem face wash and just use your a moisturizer or a sunscreen keep your sunscreen as your holy grail product okay even if you don't like that white cast use a sunscreen a sunscreen is very important especially not just like for teenagers in general if you're going to chemically exfoliate your skin you have to have to use a sunscreen because you are exposing that new layer of your skin to your to the outside environment and if you're just going to go out in the sun and you have like a heavy day of work and everything and you're not applying sunscreen girl you're doing a lot of damage to your skin might as well do not use a chemical exfoliator in that case if you're like that lazy person who doesn't like sunscreen or who doesn't want to use sunscreen and you just don't like the feel of it and all then don't go into all of this this is not your thing this is it's just gonna do more harm than good for you and yes like i was telling my teenagers you all don't really need this entire chemical exfoliation thing you all can of course start this i started my chemical exfoliation game when i was 19 and yes i did a mistake i was one of those people who got hyped into the whole game and started using ordinary aha bha first thing that was the first thing i used on my skin luckily nothing happened to my skin barrier but you know not everybody can be as lucky so don't do the same mistake as me start in smaller concentrations when you possibly uh, 20, 21 would be a good amount of age I mean you can even start later you can even start after 23, 25 even but you know the thing is I expose my skin to a lot of makeup I expose my skin in general to a lot my working hours are like in the harsh sun and I, I like apply makeup a lot like a lot so my pores are always clogged my, make, my face goes through a lot in general only because I'm on YouTube so that is the reason why I dove into all of this earlier if you are a person who's like basic AF you don't really use that much makeup you're literally at home and you don't even go out that much then you don't really have to get into all of this until at least your late 20s okay now let's get into the products that have chemical exfoliants in them and the ones that i use now i of course am one person like i already said i cannot try everything on the market but these are the companies that i use currently these are the companies that have tried tested really really well and i'm giving you like my honest thoughts that yes boss this is what i use this is safe this is what's working for my skin before i get into this of course i should mention that i'm oily acne prone skin type and now let's dive into the first product so the first thing i have for y'all is the dr shade it's ABC cleansing gel so this is basically to be used as a face wash you're just supposed to like pump this product out now I'm not going to be able to give you all demos because I can't possibly use all of this while demoing for one video right because of course I will like damage my skin's barrier but this is supposed to be used generally as you use a face wash just take a little bit of product on your skin and massage it in your skin for 60 seconds now what this stands for the ABC stands for AHA BHA and CK cleansing gel so the AHA that they have in this product is glycolic and lactic acid Acid and the BHA that they have is salicylic acid and the concentrations are not that strong. The AHAs are just 2.5-2.5% and the BHA is just 0.5%. So if you're just starting out into your whole skincare and chemical exfoliation game, something like this will be great for you. Since it also has Sika, which is Centella Asiatica, it also helps to like soothe your skin after it's exfoliated. So in general, this product works really, really well for me. It does say that you can use this two to three times on the back in the direction. But I advise that if you're using this for the first time if this is how you're starting into your game you should start by using it once a week only i of course use it twice a week because by now i have exposed my skin to a lot of chemical exfoliants so my skin is much more resilient it's like you know as you start growing into the whole game you will understand by yourself how much frequency works for you how much of the percentage works for you because if you don't see a difference after using a chemical exfoliant you know that you have become resilient to this you know if you still have texture if you still have those bumps if you still don't see the glow that means it's not working for you anymore you need to amp up the percentage of the frequency so if you're just starting out this is a great product it has great ingredients and also you can use my code sara20 on their website so you will get a 20 percent off on all of dr shade's products for the next product let's talk about toner so this is the pixie glycolic acid toner this is the glow tonic the cult favorite product oh my god the hype that was created around this product and you guys it is worth the hype all right this is uh i think yeah just five 
100% glycolic acid exfoliating toner and this can you see the bottle is over Pixie had actually sent this product over to me uh, and I've completed using this I actually use this exactly in one year another thing you have to keep in mind is the expiration date of all of these products you can't possibly use your skincare beyond expiration dates in general so I made sure that I complete this in one year and I need to get like a fresh bottle of this I advise that you get the small bottle only even though you get a bigger bottle because you will possibly not be able to complete it uh, so I used to use this on an alternate day basis if you're just starting out also this is a great product to start out with you can either start with the face wash the cleansing gel or you can start with a 5% glycolic acid toner glycolic acid it's an AHA it works really really well to help with those bumpies I had like serious like texture issues I still do I just in general have a lot of like texture issue on my forehead and you know on the periphery of my skin so this helps so well with that if you're experiencing those bumpies on your skin this is the product for you also helps a lot with like hypopigmentation in general the entire pixie glow tonic range the glowing range was made with 5% glycolic acid and was aimed specifically at that that you should like you know be able to get glowing skin and I have a specific video on all of their products and I've talked about this in depth about how you're supposed to use it and everything I will leave the link over here on the description section for you so all you have to do with this product is take it on a cotton pad and then just swipe it across your face so with that you're just like you know exfoliating and like removing all of that dead skin from your face 5% is perfect when you're starting out and you can do this at least thrice a week if you're just starting out or twice a week you can start with twice a week and then build it up from there now the next skincare product the next skincare step after you've washed your face then you go in with toner and then you go in with a serum so for serum I use these two serums currently and these have been like both have been so so good for my skin this is the Dr. Shades Neem and BHA serum and this is the Earth Rhythm Clear Skin Glow Serum the ultimate glow serum so let's talk first about the Dr. Shades one so this serum has like it says Neem as well as BHA the BHA in this serum is salicylic acid so works really well when you have those clogged pores and your blackheads and whiteheads all collected this is the product for you just you can use it as a spot treatment just like you know layer it uh, around your nose area or you know I even use it in this area because I have this uh, acne collection going on over here so it's going to really help this is the area that I get like sebum induced acne because I have a lot of like oil collection over here so because of that I get a lot of acne so in general I just apply this product over here I use it like three three to four times a week but you can use it initially only two times a week or uh, the salicylic acid percentage in this is not too much the percentage is not on the ingredient not on the product right now I don't think they reveal all of their ingredient percentages but um, it is not too much that is going to make your skin super super sensitive but you should start like, ideally two to three times a week only you can also use it as an all over face serum on the days that you know I'm going to get my period and in general when I'm breaking out and my skin is not feeling it I use it as an all over face serum as well after your toner you're supposed to go in with a serum now the products I'm mentioning do not use them back to back huh? guys this is just one at a time you're supposed to introduce one product in your skincare routine at a time sub ek saath use nahi karna my skincare routine is very different I will link the video right here which is my current nighttime skincare routine uh, so yeah you can check that out about how I layer skincare and stuff and that would be a video for a whole different day or how to layer skincare this is just a reference chart for the products you should try out if you just want to start with chemical exfoliation now talking about the Earth Rhythm Clear Skin Ultimate Glow Serum, this has some great ingredients in it it has 20% vitamin C, 2.5% retinol 2.0% salicylic acid and 1.5% hyaluronic acid these are like the main ingredients great job of mentioning the percentages as well directly on the packaging because let's be honest who's going to go and look on the website every time you're going to you know try to buy a product and also like this bottle is like this dark color so the product inside will not oxidize very easily with vitamin c and stuff you know it can oxidize very fast especially when it's unstable uh, so this has great percentages it can be very strong so this i would advise once you have started your game and you want to amp it up a little further you want to get like that a little more glow you can't see your difference with your current chemical exfoliants then you should go for something like this so i'm using this like on a three times a week basis at night time and oh my god works like a charm it gives you such absolutely glowing skin and once again i have a code with earth rhythm as well it's the code sara for i think 10 percent of their entire website and this product is a must have if you 
want to like you know need one serum which has it all this is the serum for you now let's talk about masks and peels all of these products can be more like you know your twice a week thrice a week more of your skincare routine ingredients when it comes to masks and peels they are more like once a week at the maximum or even once in two weeks now if you're like younger you can use it like once in three weeks also it can be like a very one-off thing you know if you want to like you know just do it for like a potent exfoliation that is when you need this product so the product that I use for that is the plum uh, chamomile and white tea face mask and the ordinary AHA BHA peeling solution. First let's talk about the plum mask. Now the thing with this mask is that it does mention that it has glycolic acid and if I'm not wrong it also does have lactic acid um okay no it doesn't have lactic acid in it it just has glycolic acid they do not mention the percentage but it's right up the fourth ingredient on the list so i am expecting like about what 2.53 percent i'm just guessing ah bola nahi hai log ne but this is a great mask on a budget if you want to start with a chemical exfoliant in your product you should get this i love this mask so much the instructions on this mask are very specific that you should apply it and keep it for 30 minutes and use it only once a week so that is exactly what i do with this face mask and it gives me glowing skin like really really glowing lit from within skin very like does a fab fab job at working really well uh it's a great mask to have handy you know whenever you want to do like this facial at home or whenever you feeling you're like your skin is very dull kuch extra karna hai skin ke liye that is when i reach out for this mask i don't really use it to be very honest every like every week uh because i don't need that kind of exfoliation every week i'm already using a lot of exfoliants in my skin care so i reach out to this you know when after exams i'm so like my pores are clogged i've not taken care of my skin at all and i've not done my skin care routine in days when i'm like stressed with exams and stuff that is when i reach out for something like this and give my skin that extra burst of a uh, fresh glow and then finally let's close it out with the cult favorite the product that started it all that is the ordinary aha bha solution this has 30% AHA and 2.22% BHA in it. It is a peeling solution and it's very specifically a 10 minute exfoliating facial. Now the thing with this product, what people do, people, I mean, I'm inclusive in that people is that, you know, we don't really think about chemical exfoliation in general and see that the hype is about this product that you have to buy and if you use it more and more, you will get more and more results. It doesn't happen to you. I mean, you are supposed to use it a little bit and I didn't tell anyone about it. After that, all this you know, it picked up and people started educating each other. So nobody told me this. So I am telling you all that don't do that. If you are using chemical exfoliation in general, if your products already have all of these ingredients in them, your skincare is already doing it for you and now you feel like ha ab my skin care is not working out for me you can go ahead and buy this if you're young if you're anything like you know below 25 Use this only once a month. Honestly speaking, I use it only once a month. This is just like the way the plum mask is, but this is much stronger. The the way I use it is just the way I use the plum mask. I just reach out to this when my skin is really like not not having it. You know, after exams, I just use this one week back only, and that's why now my skin is like really well, like glowing and everything. All my skincare is getting absorbed in my skin really well, and my skin was glowing the the minute I use this now. All my texture, my bumps, everything. out immediately works like a charm this product is amazing no doubt it will do the job it will work fabulously and now i know there are a lot of dupes coming for this in the market dorton key has one and minimalist also came out with the entire range i have bought the minimalist peeling solution it's not a part of this video because i have not tried it yet i'm going to be making a separate video about that product in general uh and comparing it to this one and seeing you know if it is a dupe or what is it and what's the whole thing with that product But if you can get your hands on this, I bought uh, my ordinary solution from an Instagram page called Crimson Lux. There are also other Instagram pages that do retail original ordinary products. I will leave those pages for you in the description section. And before using all of this, you guys do a patch test. Do a patch test either here or here. You know, in general, now that I'll use that minimalist wala solution, also I'm going to do a patch test because you don't know what's going to work for you, right? So. Everybody's skin is different. All of this works for my skin. If you're trying it for your skin, great. 
do a patch test if nothing happens to you within 24 to 48 hours then you can apply it on all over your face and it'll be much safer like that also i forgot to mention it's a 10 minute exfoliating facial with this all you have to do is like take one tip it means pura bhi nahi bharna hai don't use too much okay i was just seeing some influencer story that day and like they were using too much product just use this much pipet one pipet of the product and like apply it all over your face just tap it into your skin don't like massage it becomes frothy and soapy just like tap it place it everywhere and then just wait for 10 exact minutes and wash it off and Oh my god the magic. So that is all we had about the chemical exfoliation, the intro, the 101, how you're supposed to use, what you're supposed to use and all of the products and everything. One more thing I want to mention is apart from sunscreen, also need to uh, start using like potent serums and moisturizers, like really hydrating products after you're using like a chemical exfoliant. So like after I finish using my ordinary or uh, AHA BHA, I use an aloe vera gel and just uh, like apply a generous layer of aloe vera and go to sleep at night and wake up to the most glowing skin because aloe vera like you know really hydrates my skin and then my skin doesn't dry out and also if you're a person who works a lot like goes out in the sun a lot use all of these products in your nighttime skincare routine keep them away from your daytime skincare routine so that your skin has time to heal overnight and you're not really like exfoliating in the morning and then exposing yourself to the sun and even then you have to use sunscreen in the daytime i will leave some sunscreen recommendations for you in the description section so don't forget to check all of that out everything is going to be in the description box for you with that i complete this chemical exfoliation 101 video i hope you guys enjoyed and learned a lot from this video if you did then please don't forget to hit the like button so that I I understand that you're liking this type of product, so we can make skin talk with Sara a more of a Tuesday thing. I do have a playlist here on YouTube. I've spoken about all my skin issues, and it's a playlist called Skin Talk with Sara. And uh, we can amp up, you know, we can take it from there. So if you're enjoying skincare videos, we can keep them flowing on Tuesdays. Let me know in the comments what you all think about that. Because I did take a poll on my community tab about vlogs uh, to be continued or no, and a lot of y'all were like, you know, continue vlogging because we want to see fudge. But a lot of y'all are also like, we just want makeup and skincare content. So let's stick with makeup and skincare unless there's something extraordinary happening in my life. Then we will vlog it. But apart from that, we will continue with skincare makeup. If y'all like skincare videos, we can make them a Tuesday thing only, and then. Thursday and Sunday can be for makeup. Let me know what you all think about that schedule in the comments. If you all have not joined the Sara Squad already, what are you waiting for, guys? Click the subscribe button, click the bell icon right next to it, so that you're joining the Sara Squad and being a part of our pack. We are on our road to 50k, and I have a huge giveaway planned for you all for 50k. I'm not even like hyping it up. I'm collecting all my PR items for you all. I'm like saving everything for you guys, and I'm like gonna buy more products, more makeup, more skincare, more all of my favorites, and give it back to you all because I am so excited. to share with y'all everything that i've gotten from y'all in these 3 years my journey with youtube has been long but it's been full of so much warmth and love from y'all so help me hit 50k very very fast if you're not subscribed if you're just watching the video please subscribe it helps a lot and means a lot to me for today's video the sara score shout out goes to kashmira dongar dive thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel if you want to be a part of next video sara score shout out then all you have to do is hit the subscribe button the bell icon right next to it and also leave a comment down below saying Hashtag Sarah Squad, and you will get a chance to be a part of my next video, Sarah Squad shoutout. I will see you guys very soon in another video. Bye, guys. Stay home, stay safe, and I love y'all.